Let's start this review off by saying that there is literally no way that this gravity group coaster is a family coaster. I don't even know how Oscar's Rocky Taxi exists at Sesame Place, but you'll find out why I'm saying this all this in today's review. I haven't done a review in a while, so this will be a nice video to make. But with all that said, I'm rising through and enjoy the video. No, fuck that shit. Oscar's Wacky Taxi is one of my favorite family coasters. I mean, this thing's this thing packs a good punch. It is a little rough, but that doesn't stop me from absolutely loving this ride. It doesn't even have impressive stats. I mean, just a height of 43 feet, which technically the height is 39 feet, because even though the height of the lift hill is 43 feet, the drop is 39 feet. But still, it only has a 39 foot height a 34 mile per hour speed and a length of 1205 feet. This coaster is rather short, but man does it pack the biggest punch you ever find in a small scaled wooden coaster, at least in my opinion. Granted, I've only ridden two gravity groups in my entire life which are Oscar's Wacky Taxi and Mindblower, so for those of you who have ridden more gravity groups then don't listen to me. But that's enough talking, now let's get into the ride experience. Oscar's Wacky Taxi starts off by taking a very small and mini pre-drop, which this kind of pre-drop you can find on about all the Gravity Group family coasters. You take this very slow, but then you go into the 43 foot tall lift hill, which I don't even know why, but this lift hill is almost as loud as RMC lift hills. I would show you a clip from my point of view, but because I had wind reduction on, you couldn't hear truly how loud it is. After the after the lift, you go into, you go into a pre-drop where you take a tight turn to the right. Even though it is pretty tight, you can't really feel how tight the turn is because you're going so slow. But right after the turn, you go into the main drop, which this drop is pretty fun. If I was like 8 years old, I would definitely have a blast on this coaster. And this is gonna be a shorter, also this is gonna be a shorter review only because after the drop, all there is are like airtime hills and turns. But basically, after the drop, you go into multiple airtime hills, which give great amount of flow jackdaw. I better would give even greater airtime, probably a jackdaw, if I had just a bit more room. But after some airtime hills, you take, you turn into a tunnel, and like all tunnels on coasters, it is loud as hell. But like I said, this ride is pretty much just airtime and turns, so I'll skip to the end of the ride and the score. The end of the ride I actually kind of have to brace for because it's really bumpy but at the end of the ride it's like 3 final hills and that's it. This ride is really good, definitely better than the other gravity group coaster I've ridden which was mind blower. So for Oscar's ra Oscar Wacky Taxi, I don't know, it's very confusing guys. For Oscar's Wacky Taxi's final score I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10. I might be scoring it too high but it's my opinion. And my opinion says that this is the perfect family coaster, which I don't even know why it's at Sesame Place because it's really fast paced. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even call this a family coaster in my opinion. I would say it's placed in between a family coaster and a thrill coaster. It's like 50% family coaster and 50% thrill coaster. So that's my review of Oscar's Wacky Taxi. I really hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned to Horizon Thrills to see what my next review is. And hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss a new upload. I make some of the most high quality roller coaster content you'll find on YouTube. Ranging from point of views to reviews, from rankings to vlogs, we are your roller coaster homeroom. But with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the horizon. Peace guys.